This circuit shows the op-amp configured to create a non-inverting amplifier, meaning the output signal will be the same polarity as the input signal. The amount of gain is controlled by the resistors. We will examine the circuit, then look at the formula to calculate the output voltage and gain. Notice the positions of the inverting and non-inverting inputs. Resistor 1 is connected between ground and the inverting input. Resistor 2 is connected between the output and the inverting input. The input signal is a 10 volt peak to peak sine wave and is connected directly to the non inverting input. Resistor 2 is used to create the negative feedback loop. Let's now examine the formula used to calculate output voltage and gain. To calculate the voltage output, we use the following formula. Voltage out equals R1 plus R2 divided by R1 multiplied by the voltage in. So using the values from our sample circuit, the formula becomes voltage out equals 100 plus 200 divided by 100 multiplied by 10. So 100 plus 200 equals 300. 300 divided by 100 equals 3. 3 multiplied by 10 equals 30. So the output voltage for this circuit will be 30 volts peak to peak. The gain of the amplifier is calculated as follows. Gain equals 1 plus R2 divided by R1. R2 equals 200. R1 equals 100. 200 divided by 100 equals 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. This amplifier has a gain of 3, or the output signal is 3 times greater than the input. Let's go to the simulator to see the non-inverting amplifier in action. Before we play the simulation, we will highlight the input signal so it can be seen in the waveform viewer. As we can see, it is producing a 10 volt peak to peak sine wave. We can now highlight the output and see the increase in the voltage. The op amp's output is producing a 30 volt peak to peak sine wave as we calculated earlier. 30 volts peak to peak is the maximum we can output from the default setting on every circuit's op amp. We can easily adjust this and the gain by highlighting the component and adjusting as required. If we produced a signal output above 15 volts, the sine wave would have clipped and reshaped the output as we have seen from the inverting and non-inverting amplifiers it is only necessary to add some standard components to create a very useful circuit.